It's The Q. Here is your host, John Furrier. Hi, I'm John Furrier with The Q. We are on the ground in San Francisco for VMware's big launch in February. This is the uh, one cloud, any application, any device in San Francisco. All the influence of the whole press course here in the enterprise. We had Quentin Hardy on stage. I'm here with uh, uh, Robin Matlock, who's the CMO of VMware. Great to see you. Hi, John, great to be here. Uh, Pat, Pat Gelsinger, Quentin Hardy from the New York Times, um, Jeffrey Moore, Crossing the Chasm, thought That's leaders, right. all the influence, all the press was here. Uh, tell us about the event. Well, this is all about really coming together and take a moment to sit back and see all of the great products and technologies that we're bringing to market. So we launched one cloud, any application, any device, and essentially this is a discussing a whole framework or architecture of how we're delivering and harnessing the power of all of your cloud and computing environments into one common architecture for one cloud. How that supports both traditional apps, modern apps, and is delivered on any device for your consumers. Um, we'll be doing a bunch of crowd chats throughout the month and you guys have a lot of activities planned, but this is really the kickoff. You had a sales meeting last week, you got a partner exchange going on, earnings were good, business is good, but there's a lot of competition right now. So I want you to comment on the big announcement because Pat Gelsinger said this is the biggest vSphere launch in the history, but it's not just vSphere, it's a whole platform. I mean, it's complicated. How are, you, how are you putting it all together for the crowd out there? You know, it's a very dynamic marketplace right now, and businesses are changing and transforming. Every industry we know is undergoing really significant transformations. We think there's no better time to be in the industry. We feel extremely well positioned. Um, we have laid out a foundation for the data center of the future. It's based on a software-defined architecture. We have tremendous opportunity now to help our customers harness all of their cloud silos into one cloud. We think really we've got a great offering and it's just a great time to launch. So you got VMware coming up, I'm sure you got some VMworld coming up. What's the planning like? Can you give us a little teaser on what's happening with VMworld well, this year? John, I'm just trying to get through partner <laughs> exchange right now, starting tomorrow. So we've been really, we are day seven of 10 days of intense launch and events and activities with our shareholders, with our sales force, with our partners. So we're really in the thick of it right now. I want to live for the moment. We have a great offering, some of the biggest news to come out of the company in a long time. And so it's really- I'm sure it's on here. your plate, but it's around the corner. But talk about the partner exchange, because one of the things that's really important is ecosystem. VMware's ecosystem. Critical is really, really impressive, but it's changing, it's growing, you guys are growing. What's new? Give us the update on the ecosystem. You bet. I mean, our philosophy, first of all, is that we can't do this alone, that we have to team and partner wisely, and we are surrounded by the richest ecosystem in the industry, bar none. Now, I do believe that it is transforming. As consumption models are changing, as technologies are changing, as cloud is stepping in, it does require new types of services and new types of partners. So we're talking more service providers, more ISVs, more SaaS providers, but all of us coming together as one large ecosystem and ensuring that our customers have a unified experience. What are you seeing the trends for the, for the, uh, for the partners? Is it more channel, more software, more of ours? What's the mix when you said service providers? That's new, is that? Yeah, I mean, we've been in all of these various partner you know, types for a long time. I do think, though, that the mobile cloud era is putting you know, more emphasis on services, on cloud services, on consulting services, helping companies transform their operations. That requires process transformation, people transformation. So I do think system integrators, um, ISVs, there's, there's definitely new partner types I think are getting a day in the sun. So i got to ask you, I'm really impressed with the VMware culture. You know that I'm a big fan of VMware, living in Palo Alto, being a local, local boy, but, and a fan of Palo at Gelsinger, you've done an amazing job, you have an amazing campus. What's the culture like now at VM? You guys are at the heart of Silicon Valley. You know, there's a lot of things going on in Silicon Valley right now that's really great, and some things that are not going so great. What, what's going on with VMware? What's going on with your culture? Can you give us an update on sure. what's it like? You know, I've been there almost six years, and I think the VMware culture is stronger than it's ever been. Our culture is anchored around our values, and it's really clear. They're epic. Execution, passion, integrity, customers and community. And you will talk to any VMware employee and they feel that in their heart. That's what we are first and foremost. It's more about how we do what we do. Technology's great, but at the end of the day, it's all about our values. And it kind of shows me your campus is just so beautiful. I mean, it just shows. <laughs> okay, so the next question, final question is, how do you market this complex complexity to, to customers? Obviously, it's changing for you guys. 
product-wise, heard the whole announcement, it's changing for your customers. <laughs> well, how do you stay on top of the marketing, and what is your strategy to market to the customers? Because you have now more stakeholders, but you still have the IT guys out there, software-defined data center. What's new, and what's some of the marketing opportunities you have? Well, it's a great question. At the end of the day, our customers want business outcomes. They want real value that solves critical business problems. And I think, although our portfolio is really is complex and diversifying, what we ultimately deliver for our customers is getting quite simple. We help them deliver one cloud for any application on any device. We help them solve their business mobility problems. And we have a new term, liquid liquid cloud, liquidity. Liquid, where, where did that come from? Liquid, that Pat's? Uh, no, 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 that, no. That no. We're all behind that. Liquid is really just describing the context of the environment we're in. That's the world around us. Business, you know, rigid structures of the past are giving way to much more fluid, dynamic yeah. business models. It's a liquid world. Yeah, it's real time, and I think that speaks to it. And you have storage, a lot of announcements. So summarize, final question. What's the bottom line for this event? What's the main takeaway? The main takeaway is that VMware is continuing to innovate. I mean, we are really fearless innovators and we are delivering tremendous innovation that is helping deliver a brave new model of IT that is instant, fluid, and secure. Brave new world. We are here on the ground, Robin Matlock, CMO at VMware. This is On the Ground, I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. Thanks for watching.